Hello everyone and welcome to the highly anticipated, long-awaited studio tour. Today I'm going to be showing you where I film all my videos and where I display all my Thomas stuff. So, without further ado, let's go inside. So here is the room. We've been in here for about two years now and I'm I'm very happy with how everything is right now. Um, of course, there are some things that I would change. Um, you'll see that in due time, but as it is now, I'm pretty happy with everything. So, um, let's start over here at the um, main area. So this is my set table. This is where I film all of my videos. Um, it's just an old ping pong table that we had lying around. We weren't really using it, and I thought, hey, I can steal that, and it works very well. Um, this grass mat, you can't really see it too well on video because the camera quality sucks, but um, it does get kind of um, messed up over time. Like I, when I vacuum up ballast, it scratches, or when I was filming for Trust Thomas, I spilled chocolate milk on here, and it does get beaten up a lot, but it is very reliable, so I do um, appreciate that. I was going to step back, but I forgot about the sky backdrop here. Um, when I had my um, studio in the other side of the basement and in my room, I was able to um, um, adhe kind of adhesive the sky backdrop to the wall like it is here and have it be flush. But as you can see right over here, there's a ledge permanently built into the room and that goes all the way around behind the sky into that wall over there and you can't really lay paper down flush like that so what we did is we bought some hooks from Amazon and they're um, adhesive to the roof so although it's not ideal I'm very happy that we found um, a way to hang this up because otherwise I'd be screwed and you can see yeah it does get a bit um, wrinkled and stretched out but you know what it's better than nothing in my opinion you probably also saw up there I have some um, LED lights I use those when I have to film at night I, I had an extra set um, I have some up in my bedroom and I had an extra set and I thought oh what am I gonna do with these but then I thought oh I can use that for um, night filming so those are very helpful you can also probably see all of the different cars stuff I'm a huge cars fan you'll see that throughout the room I'm a fan of a lot of different things. I'm a huge Cars fan, a huge Office fan, and a huge Spider-Man fan. So you'll see Office and Cars and Spider-Man memorabilia all around the room. But yeah, I've got Cars ranging from... That's from 2019. That might be from 2019, but mostly ranging from 2020 all the way to about 2022. Actually, that's from 2023, that Chick Hicks 2-pack, I believe. But I haven't gotten any Cars recently. I mean, you can see that last one is from Cars on the Road, and that came out in 22. So... It's been a while since I've gotten into the Cars um, collecting game, but I, I still really like how this came out. I'd like to eventually one day fill this entire top of the room with cars going like all the way around here. I think that'd be really cool, but uh, that day will probably never come because it gets very expensive. We got some lights here. Uh, I've had these lights for, gosh, four years now. They're actually very good lights. They're Reasonably cheap. They're like $125. I don't know exactly what they're what they are, but they are newer brand and you get two so Pretty cool there. Here's my director's chair. I got this when I was a senior in high school So like Christmas of 2021, I believe oh, Let's pull this aside here Since this is a ping pong table, it does get a bit uneven. So I have this vice here to um, hold it together to make it more even and I also have a pole underneath there to help support it even better but Yeah, we got a little stool here. I've had that for God probably as long as I've been alive like 20 years almost and Under here. We've got just a bunch of random stuff. So I'll start pulling some stuff out here um, These two boxes are filled with like buildings and such. This is mostly just um, loose stuff that I don't really care too much about like I've got a bunch of um, like cars and accessories and stuff um, my uncle gave me these for Christmas um, this past Christmas and These are all from like the mid 70s. I think so they're almost you know 50 years old So they're pretty fragile. I have broken a couple of them I'm sorry to my uncle if you're watching this, but yeah, these are all the main buildings. I've got like factories houses stations they're really, really nice. Um, this box right here, 
see if I can get it out for you. This box is full of um, boxes. <laughs> it's a box with boxes. Um, last year for my birthday, I got a bunch of um, late 90s, early 2000s stuff used in the box. I didn't have any place to put them, so I got this box from Walmart. And I just keep all of my boxes in here because I don't really want—I don't really want to throw them away. Excuse me. So I've got like the barrel loader, the cargo crane. These are pretty old. I got these when I was 15, I believe. I've had them for a very long time. You know, that's that was 2019 when I got them, so that was five years ago. But yeah, um, some straight track boxes, Rocky. Oh, that's the only 2022 item I have. But I've got a couple of new inbox cars haulers like this is the cars 2 mac i think there's some yeah there's some next gen haulers down there oh there we go this yep that's my bachman um douglas box yeah just thomas wooden railway oh there's a there's a couple 2022 boxes in there but i have them displayed elsewhere right now or i can not really display but stored elsewhere yeah just empty boxes a couple new inbox things but not um too much. Um, I do have new inbox items. I'll show you that in just a minute, but um, yeah, this is just empty boxes that I don't really want to throw away, so I'll try and get all this back in with um, the setup here. It gets a bit crammed because you've got all these l different legs and supports to make the ping pong table fold up correctly. Oh, before I put these away, I'll show these boxes back here. It's going to get kind of grainy, I apologize, but that is my Bachman Thomas Annie and Clarabelle set box. That box on top of it is the Day at the Work set box. That has all of my, um, sorry, that's really green. It's really annoying. That has all of my, um, um, like engine and rolling stock boxes. And then behind that, you can't really see it. Oh, right there a little bit. You can see, as seen in the Great Discovery, that's my Thomas Action Canyon box. So let's get all these boxes put back in. Oh, it gets a bit complicated. Oh, God, I think I just broke... Oh, my God, I just broke something. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> I said I was going to break something, and it was inevitable that it would happen at some point. But, oh, well. Oh, right here. These are the new hill back scenes that I got for Christmas. They're pretty helpful, but they're very awkward to store. Here's probably something... Probably the most interesting thing you've seen in the video so far. Uh, these are all my destinations. Sorry if I'm getting close to the mic. I have a new um, portable mic that I have attached to um, my tripod grip on my phone. So if I get close to it, I apologize. But yeah, these two boxes hold all my destinations. This box has all of the destinations from the clickety-clack era minus this one and this water tower because it's more likely that I'll need these rather than other things in the bottom here so it's easier to store them up here rather than in here where I'd have to you know take this off and open the lids here but yep all the clickety clack des yeah, destinations and big track pieces are in there and then oh is that good okay good I thought that was crushing that and then in here We've got all of the um, traction around destinations. So oh, there's more in there. I'm not going to um, open that, but yep. Like Reg is in there. You've got the um, windmill, signal houses, um, you know, stuff like that. Ugh. And it's more likely that I'll need something from in here. So I don't keep the lid on this thing. The lid is hiding over there, but I don't really use it. Um, except if I'm you know, doing an outdoor layout and I'm afraid that it's going to get um, wet or something and I have to cover these, so there's that. Over here, let me move this light, excuse me. Oh, I thought that was going to fall on me, that would have been bad. Here, we have all of my um, extra engines. Um, they're usually a bit more organized, I apologize that I didn't take the time to organize them, but I was um, using them recently, I was doing an experiment, but yeah, this is where I keep all of them. Um, nothing too interesting here. I mean, you can't, I'm not going to take all of them out for you to see, but if you've seen my collection of videos, you guys have probably seen all of these, but, yeah. Some pretty old items in here. I think the oldest item in here is from, like, 94, I think? Yeah. And it's a pretty big bin, too. I mean, it's, it's pretty stacked. Um, 
in here we've got all of my Tomy and Trackmaster destinations. Um, and then over there we've got some more boxes, like track boxes, mostly from the Mattel era. Um, there are some more, oh those aren't new in box haulers, those are loose haulers that I used to have on display, but I kind of ran out of room so I had to move them back to their boxes. Um, yeah, that's really everything for underneath the table. There's some more stuff back there. I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, over there's a trash can. Let's see. We got Thomas Books over here on the desk. And then in here we've got some pamphlets and like warranty cards and stuff. In here, sorry I'm zoomed in a little bit. This is where I keep um, like all of my tools and stuff when I have to do customs like my X-Acto knife some wrenches when I have to do adjustments to the table over here, stuff like that. Oh, come on. Ugh, there you go. Uh, up there, there's the outside world. Please take me. Um, here's my desk. Um, there's not much on here. I don't really use it as a desk. I'm gonna sit down actually, because I'm getting a little tired. Oh, there we go. It's not really used as a desk anymore, <laughs> or it hasn't really ever. It's mostly used as like a staging ground, so if I have to take apart, or take apart a set, I just put everything over here, like engines, buildings, and stuff. There's my more traditional Blue Yeti mic. I use that when I have to do sit-down videos. Here, oh, here's the controller for my lights. All the lights up there, not those ones. Um, mouse pad, here's my laptop. You can see I got some pretty cool wallpapers. Um, that Crosby coal loader is actually extraordinarily useful when you're filming with an iPhone. I use this as a tripod and it's really, really nice. I love it a lot. We've got some ballast there. I just put in some new light bulbs, so that's why those are there. Um, some office figures just hanging out. Packing tape. And then probably one of the coolest parts of the room is um, some engines. Let me zoom out a little more. So this is um, pretty much every single engine from season one to seven, and then the narrow gauge engines, and then a couple um, roadway characters. So everybody up here, that is all the Audrey character, or those are all the Audrey characters. Then we go into season five, then Magic Railroad, season six, season seven. Then we go into narrow gauge, and then we've got all the roadway characters. I gotta cover this up really quickly because I've got a really cool letter here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, um, I wrote to Jeff Kinney, the wimp, or the wimpy, the um, author of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, um, a couple of years ago, and he wrote me back. So I have this letter framed up here. I love this thing so much. He liked and commented and retweeted my post on Twitter when I posted about it a couple months ago. But yeah, love this thing so much. Um, this is a cool gift from one of my friends. I got this as a graduation present about two years ago. Very cool. And then this is um, the lyric sheet for That's What Friends Are For. I don't remember what CD this came in, but it's from one of Mike O'Donnell's um, CDs. Over here, um, this um, paper tube roll thing um, is actually pretty helpful. I use this when I have to film at like the docks or Natford Station or Timoth Sheds. It's just a, when I have to do sets with um, lots of ballast, I just use this. Cause it's a lot easier to clean the ballast off of this versus um, the grass mat. And then here is a little vacuum that I use when I have to clean up um, ballast that I can't really pick up or just like pieces of snow that are just like strangling around, strangling around, just hanging about that I can't really pick up. And then before we move on to the other side of the room, we've got um, some drawers here. These drawers have um, some en like the extra engines that aren't being displayed up there, as well as some pieces of rolling stock. So in here, we've got characters ranging from Season 9 to um, Tale of the Brave. Um, Tale of the Brave to the end of the CGI series. And then we've got a couple, of, or just one, uh, Railway Series character. Got Dustin, and then the extra narrow gauge engines, and then the miniature engines, and then the rolling stock, or not the rolling stock, the roadway characters from um, one from season four, and then anything from after, um, from season five or after. And then in here we've got coaches and brake vans, more brake vans, and then we start going into troublesome trucks. Got troublesome trucks and doing some work on the um, narrow gauge slate truck, so that's why their bodies are kind of gone. Um, tankers. 
Yeah. Um, just various random pieces. Let me get into two packs. And then we've got um weird things like I got Rocky, the circus train, extra pieces of um roadway um or road vehicles. And then just random stuff like battery operated Thomases, uh, my stunt double um Thomas and my stunt double James, Harold, Bullstrode, who's carrying all the faces. Yeah. It's pretty standard. And then over here, this is something that I got. These are um more recent, I believe. I don't remember exactly when I got these, probably probably around a year ago, but it wasn't until Keek Ray made his first studio tour that I realized how useful these things are. So this drawer holds all of the two inch pieces, um, just like the normal ones. This one has all the male male adapters. This one has all the female female adapters as well as um, buffers and ramps. And I'm telling you guys, if you just throw all of your track into like like those big bins, don't do that. This will save you so much time. It's so helpful ver versus having to throw those small pieces into a bin like that and having them all end up at the bottom. It'll take forever to find those pieces again. Oh, now in here we've got um, road curves. Here we've got random pieces that don't really have homes. Sorry, I just throw them all in one. I got like track for reg, like this twisty track, I guess. I don't know. Crossings and stuff. Here we've got a bunch of risers. And here we've got um, turntable walls. Okay. I've <laughs> got um, boulder and then just various um, like people and figures and stuff. And here we've got... Um, some smaller buildings and then trees and stuff and then here we've got oh we got like extra cargo pieces and signals and stuff and yeah i think that's pretty much all for um this side of the room oh there's my computer bag and that's uh like an extension cord thing that i made in um cadets like probably 10 years ago maybe i don't know but that's all for this side of the room i'm gonna take you over here oh here's a michael scott poster by the way so I did this recently um, for oh God, almost two years. I just had the table like butt up against the wall over there. But I didn't have a lot of room to um, mess around with anything on this side of the set. So this year around Christmas, I moved it away from the wall a little bit. And I moved it away from the wall back there so I can actually walk back here. It's kind of a tight fit, but I can walk back here. And I can um, mess with stuff on this side of the set. So I've got some extension pieces um, when I have to put up the um, the um, hills and stuff. I'm not going to take these out because that's a lot of work. But in there I've got um, sheets and stuff. I use those when I have to film at the quarry or the Blue Mountain Quarry. Actually, no, I have to take this off because there's stuff underneath that that you guys probably want to see. Oh, it's kind of a laborious process, but... You guys will want... I know you guys want to see all this stuff. I mean, it's been a long time. I've, I've been in this room for two years, and I've never really shown it off. I mean, I've done smaller bits, and I've done, like, a live stream or two where I've shown this stuff off, but I've never done a ded dedicated video. But, yeah, this is all um just, like, um using box stuff. So I've got the 2022 boxes, and then I've got, um like, Trackmaster 2 boxes, as well as motorized stuff. Um... Yeah, nothing too interesting, actually. <laughs> um, and then over there, we've got some Trackmaster Track. I gotta try and put this back up. I also keep all of my, like, spray, bleh, spray paint and primer in this box. Because I don't really have anywhere else to put it, and it can smell really bad. So I want to keep it as far away from me as I possibly can. Let's put these boxes back down. I don't want to step on the hills, because... I can't order more because Hatton's is no more, and that's where I got those. Oh, okay. See, so yeah, that's all for um this side of the room. Let's go to the more um interesting side over here. This is probably my favorite part of the room. I absolutely love this shelf. So up here, we've got a lenticular Spider-Man poster thing I got from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. It was on clearance, and I was like, it's mine. I've got some Spider-Man Funko Pops, so that's the Amazing Fantasy one, and then this is the Black Suit one. In the back there we got Spider-Man on VHS, Spider-Man 2 on DVD with a slipcover, 
and then my Tales from the Tracks VHS. We've got some stickers over there. This, this, and that is from Arlo. If you guys remember Arlo, he modified my turntable so it would spin. But I've been um, collecting business cards from everybody in the fandom. So everybody that sells me stuff or makes me stuff, I put their business card up here. Like I've got one fan one's business card. This is actually pretty rare because um, he's making new business cards or maybe he hasn't made them, I don't know exactly. But uh, that's one of the last ones, so it's pretty rare. That um, sticker thing, uh, it's from Crazy Caboose Creations, rest in peace. Um, we got some Cars figures here, the wooden Cars ones. I used to have a bunch of them, but I sold them all on eBay like a month ago because I didn't really need them and I needed the money, so I kept um, the three most important ones. Got a couple of Bachman items here. We've got Bachman Thomas, Annie Clarabel on track, as well as Douglas. And then we've got excuse me, um, Nick TF89's business card. We got the Crazy Caboose, again, rest in peace. And then we've got um, all the major versions of Lightning McQueen, minus minus the Cars 1 one. Where's that one? I, I could have sworn I had that one out here. I gotta fix that. We've got Cars on the Road. We've got Cars 2. We've got Radiator Springs McQueen. We've got Cars 3 McQueen, Rusty's McQueen, um, Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, and... Fabulous McQueen with a piston cup. Excuse me, <clears throat> piston cup. Oh no, Forky fell. Sorry about that. Um, back there we've got a Pez Thomas and Forky from Toy Story 4. Um, we've got that stupid Hot Wheels Thomas thing. You guys probably saw another one up there, but I at one point I had three of those. Um, I think I sold one to either Crazy Caboose Creations or Gordon Fano 4, I think? I don't remember who I sold it to, but I had three at one point. We've got Introducing James and Flying Scotsman here. Um, these are kind of like my two prized possessions for Thomas Wynn Railway. And they're just too awesome to store in like those drawers over there, so that's why they're being um, displayed up here. And then um, probably one of the most appealing parts of the room is my Thomas DVD collection. I have every single major U.S. DVD, ranging from, um, you know, the first DVD to um, the last, like, compilation ones, as well as all of the movies. These stickers were on the shelf when I moved in here. This shelf used to, or has always been in the basement, but I know it was in my brother's room, actually, and he put these stickers on, and I put this one on. This is for, um, this is for my Raycon earbuds. I love them. Not sponsored. Um, but yeah, I just stole the shelf because no one was using it, and I thought, hey, I can use that instead of going to buy another one from Target. I'm going to sit down again. Down here, we've got my um, new take-along collection, or n new, as in six months ago. Um, but yeah, I still don't have Duck, don't have Mavis, and I don't have like the later characters, but I don't really care about those. And you can see back there, the, the poor narrow gauge engines are being um, shoved in the back, but that's okay. Yeah, um, down here in these um, cupboards, I've got just random crap. So I've got um, extra VHSs, like my childhood ones, and then some bear copies. We've got all of the Thomas Blu-rays um, over there. We've got a couple of DVDs without cases and stuff like Magic Railroad. That's my childhood copy. Great Festival Adventure. Animals Aboard. Ugh. DVD Bingo. My childhood copy of Tales from the Tracks. And a random Thomas is Snowy Surprise? I don't know why I have that. <laughs> I should probably sell that, because I don't really need a bare copy of that. I didn't have that as a kid, and it's not very important to me, so I gotta sell that, I guess. Um, this is the, or one of the wooden Polar Express sets. I have the main engine up in my room, but I just keep all the track and the tunnel in here. This is the little picture frame I use, or picture holder that I used um, at, when I was filming for Thomas at Home. This is a little box set with like season 8 and 9 DVDs. I don't have the DVDs, just the box. This um, is like a, a puzzle. It's kind of cool. A tripod. And then this bag here is full of my entire um, cars collection. At one point, I think last year, the year before that, I wanted to make a Cars collection video. That may still happen. I don't know when, though, but I've got a lot of stuff because Cars is one of my favorite franchises, so naturally I have a lot of stuff. Um, Up here, 
we've got um, a Thomas and Friends poster again from Crazy Caboose Creations, and it's signed by Thomas Fifty Four Productions, aka Liam. Whenever I go to meetups or have people over to my house that are Thomas fans, I usually have them sign this poster. I've only met up with one person though with this poster, and that was Liam, so I had him sign that. This is sort of a new addition. I used to have a I had I rotated what was on the shelf like all the time. At one point I had the 2022 wooden railway stuff and then most recently I had the Radiator Springs Townies, but now it has been converted into a new unbox shelf. So this is from Northern Star Adrian on Twitter. He sold me this about 2 months ago. He even signed it. Again, like that, I'm going to try and get everybody I meet up with to sign this because it's a very special item. So we got that. We got the 75th anniversary Metallic Thomas. It's kind of cool. I was going to sell it, but I was like, oh, it's kind of cool, I guess. New inbox Peter Sam I got from a train show about two years ago. Um, the Black James from The Adventure Begins. I was a complete fool with this item. It's really cool. And at one point, I just had all my new in-box stuff in box and like a um, tote or something. And I left this down next to the water heater. And you can see, especially on the back, it got really crispy. And it's really irritating. So that kind of detracts from the value of this. I probably should just open it because it's pretty much worthless at this point. But oh well. we got the two versions of the Diamond Anniversary Thomas. We've got the Trackmaster push-along one and then just the normal push-along one. Um, the Thomas and Terrence pack, and then the Talking Thomas pack. Front and center, we've got the Golden Thomas. This thing sucks, but it's, I mean, a cool memento, I suppose. And then the Gay Herald, as well as um, my character cards. I only have four, but four is better than none, I guess. And then this is the um, VHS shelf. I used to have the tapes over here. And at one point when I got all of the take along stuff, I had all of this over here, but I kind of wanted to make just a dedicated VHS shelf, so I kind of swapped what was on here. And at one point I had other things on display in here, like I had all of my Trackmaster stuff on display at one point, I had some car stuff, but I was like, eh, the VHSs are cool, so got all the tapes. And then down here we've got the wooden train bonus packs, some new in the box, some not. That's uh, the box for my mic. And then over here, we've got the door to the outside world, and then um, this really cool Spider-Verse um, calendar that I got recently, and you can see, it's my birthday! Woo um, this really cool um, Spider-Man, like, canvas thing, it's really cool. I got it from Hobby Lobby again a couple years ago. It's just, it's really cool. Like, the material is sick, the artwork is cool, it's just a very cool piece. I like it a lot. Then we also have a Spider-Man <laughs> light switch um, cover. You can tell I like Spider-Man. And then over here, we've got a map of Sodor. This came in a DVD. I don't remember which one, but I've had it for um, a couple years now. And then we go inside the closet here. I apologize, there's no light, so I'm going to keep the door open while we do this. This came in like a 75th anniversary Thomas book. Um, I got the book just so I could get the poster. I don't really care for the book. I should probably sell it, but this poster's kind of cool. Here is uh, my famous um, homemade tripod. It's an amalgamation of a mic stand and the stem of an old tripod. Basically, I made this because when you set the camera down on the table like this and you have a train rushing by, it shakes the camera like this and it's really irritating. So uh, I made this senior year of high school. So. It's connected by, I had an old mic um, that I didn't use anymore, and it, and it had this like grip that it would connect to the little tripod that it came with. Um, luckily, the stem of this um, old tripod fit into that, kind of, and then it also connected to the mic stand, and it's also duct taped here. And then I used the, the head of my good tripod and then this um, grip to film with, and it just hangs over the table. And instead of shaking the actual camera, it just stays static because the um, camera is no longer on the table. The camera is being held or being supported on the ground, I guess. So I'll take this out so we can get a more in-depth look at um, everything in here. It's a lot of crap, and it's not 
incredibly well organized, but I'll do my best to keep it as interesting as possible. And the camera quality, I apologize, is going to get very grainy, but I'm, I'll make do with what I have. So, um, these three little um, containers hold all my Legos. Top one um, has all the mini things. This has like accessories, and then this has um, some other weird things like hay bales and stuff. Um, I'll just set this right here. This box has all my paints for customs. It's gotten pretty full recently because I'm do doing a lot of work, so I'm happy to see that getting full. Um, this has um, some take along like rolling stock and then extra things like that weird Thomas, this weird Thomas thing that people have been talking about recently. I have no idea where this comes from, but it's kind of cool. And then the only Thomas Mini I have is um, Bill. I have it because I think it's really cool. And it's the only Mini, or one of the only Minis that I've had that has a 3D molded face. And I think that's really cool. So I kept this one, but I stole all my other ones because I didn't really care. Um, I'm going to have to take this off because I'm going to have to show you what's underneath that. This video is very long. Thank you for sticking around if you have. This is not very interesting. This just has like all my paint brushes and like markers and pens and stuff and then my scissors. We got some wood glue and then some super glue. This has like batteries and screws. We got fishing line, um, some electrical tape. Uh, we've got some, um, uh, what are they called? Twigs. <laughs> um, what are they called? Branches. That's what they're called. Branches, and then slate, which I use for Duncan Gets Spooked. Got some rocks. And then this thing is the Zany Brainy camera car. I haven't used this yet, but I'm hoping to use it in an upcoming video, and I'm really excited to use it because it's a very cool piece. So Very nice. Oh, God, I'm going to have to take all this off, aren't I? No, I'm not. Um, In here, this is all my Ertl stuff. It's really hard to see because I put it facing the wrong way. I apologize. Oh, here's a flashlight. It's a really good flashlight, actually. Um, but yeah, all my Ertl stuff is in there. And then in here, we've got... Oh, God, what's in here? Um, I think this is... Um, God, what is in here? I think this is, like... Um, fat Magnet Take and Play, Adventures, and Push Along stuff. I don't really feel the need to display it with all of that because that's inferior to that. Um, in here we've got, um, blue Tomy track, or I guess just Tomy track, because Tomy only made their stuff for a couple years, and they only had that track. More Tomy track, and then a mix of some track master track, and then some track master track in here. I'm gonna put all this stuff back up here, because we're not gonna take those lids off. Um, let's see. I'm not going to take everything out of here because that would be too much work. Um, but my, let's see, where is it? Um, right there. You can't really see, but where, right where my middle finger is pointing um, is my fog machine. That is an Ertl carrying case. Um, I got that from Once Upon a Child like f four years ago, and it had some pretty cool stuff in it. An extra tripod. Some... Like stunt double grass mats. Um, I, I call them stunt doubles, like they're the Thomas and James I have. But if I'm doing like water scenes and I don't want to get my good grass mat heavily destroyed, I'll just oh god, sorry. I'll uh, I'll pull that out. Um, this tin foil here. Sorry, I just messed up the focus on my camera. This tin foil is used for water. Um, and then underneath all that is um like fake snow and stuff more sheets that I use when I have to film at the quarry. Um, in here we've got apple trees, um, what are these called? Telephone poles, and then you can't really see them but the bear trees. I'll put the Legos back as well. Um, in here, this is mostly all Christmas stuff, but I've got um, some fences and some bricks when I filmed for Come Out Henry. There's some new Trackmaster stuff, I just don't have a place for it yet. Um, a little shack, my fences, ruler, and then some Trackmaster and Tomy and other like random um, accessories. And then in here, we've got all of my tracks. So, I got all the straight track in here. 
That's very unorganized. This is very organized because I just did it yesterday. Okay, here are all my curves. And this is also very unorganized, but like other random things like switches and ascending track and stuff. Um, I'm actually, I don't really like these drawers. As you can see right here, they're very cheap and um, fragile. Uh, when I had Liam over to my house this past summer, he actually stepped on this and broke it, and I was very annoyed. Um, but no, it was, it was an accident, but... I'm hoping to get some big bins, not like... Oh, that size? Maybe like that size? I don't know, but I'll have to get some um, some more um, this summer. I don't know, because these things are very irritating. Um, we've got some uh, random like extra Lego bodies and heads and stuff sandbags to help weigh down my tripod this if i can get it out this is this is not thomas i don't think but it's like a wooden train um like carry case when i have to take uh, my important engine my important engines to events and stuff um i'll put them all on this and it's an easy and safe way to transport it all this is all um extra stuff that i use for customs not counting this um, yeah, just like, oh, engines without faces, um, let's see, oh, like my, um, like my scrap tenders, um, when I have to do wheel swaps for people, um, they send me, um, donor models, so here's Emily without her wheels, yeah, just like random stuff like that. And then in here, um, some extra modeling stuff, like some uh, more fishing lines. Sorry, it's really grainy. I apologize, guys. I'll do my best to focus. It's not going to do it very well, but like extra fishing line, um, modeling knives and stuff. That's the box for my signature collection, Woody. I used to have it on display down here, but I took it to my dorm room when I moved out um, last summer. Uh, but now I'm back, and it's upstairs in my room. That I put out when I have to do important filming. Um, since nobody's home right now, I don't have to uh, put it out, but it is very helpful. Here's the um, Bachman. Um, it's not gonna focus. Sorry, I just mess up the focus on my camera, so it's not gonna focus very well. But the Bachman Brendam Warehouse thing. Um, I use these boards when I have to film on Gordon's Hill. They're actually very helpful. That right there is a Christmas Vacation poster. I love that movie, but I don't really um, have the space to <laughs> display it, so it's just rolled up right now. Let's go from top to bottom here. So we've got the old sheds, the new sheds, extra aluminum foil when I have to film or when I have to make stuff for um, the docks. Sorry, the focus was really bothering me. I hope I got it fixed now, but yeah. Extra aluminum foil. Napford Station, since it's so big and it won't fit in those bins, I just put them up here on these shelves. I'm not gonna take, actually, you know what? I'll do it. I'll show you what's in here. Up there um, is just like random Legos and stuff. And I also have um, a Trackmaster Billy. I use that when I have to pull engines while I'm filming and it's just the most powerful one that I have right now. Oh, you can see he wants to start. Not today, Billy. Up here. And this one, we've got my Trackmaster engine. Sorry, it's really dark. Oh, actually, you know what? Can I use this flashlight? Will this help? Oh my god, that does! Yeah, Trackmaster engines and stuff. And then, give me one second. Oh my god, I'm not gonna take that off. But this one, you can see, has like Trackmaster rolling stock and stuff. That was a lot of Trackmaster 2 stuff, but trust me. I've got good Trackmaster stuff underneath that. I should have used this flashlight while filming the whole um, closet part. But yeah, that's um for the top, all for the top shelf. Got to get this back on without spilling everything. There we go. Um, here's some green fabric that I use when I have to do um hills and stuff. Actually, let me get this flashlight back out. There we go. So this is some, oh no, that's really bad, sorry. I'm gonna turn that off. 
You can see those annoying lines. I hate those, but we've got um, some other destinations that I don't really want to put in those bins over there. I'm uh, mostly off-brand stuff and like that gold mine mountain that I use when I do incline stuff. In here, we've got um, extra like resin buildings and like Trackmaster stations and stuff. I hate that sound so much. In here, um, we've got um, trees. This one also has trees, and that uh, that that is um, full of bushes. And then down here, um, we've got oh this big ocean liner, and then we've got a bunch of cars stuff. What I would give to display these, but I don't have the room. So hopefully, if I get a bigger place someday, I'll have the room to display these. But for now, they're just sitting in this box, like. Why did you even buy us if you're not even going to display us? What is your problem? I'm sorry, guys. I don't really have the space right now. Um, I think that is everything. Um, I'm just going to put everything back to where I found it so I don't get yelled at by myself. Oh, no. Sand is leaking out. That's not good. But, yeah. I think, I think that's the whole room. Um... I hope it comes across, but I'm actually very happy with how this room turned out. And yes, like I said at the beginning of the video, there are things that I would like to improve in another room, like I'd like to have the sky backdrop flush against the wall instead of hanging, and I would like more space to like display the car stuff, but as it is now, I think this is really, really impressive, and I'm very happy with everything. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's the behind-the-scenes look at um, Turbo 7-Eleven. Um, I don't know if you guys really expected this. And again, I haven't really done a proper studio tour, like its own dedicated video. So I hope this kind of lived up to your expectations. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So that's going to be all for me. This video was really, really long. So thank you guys so much for slogging through this video. And I will see you later today with Trust Thomas. Bye!